Stephen Finn and he's about to bowl the first ball Shane Watson on strike he turns it down the leg side and four runs straight away to the Australian score it's off the legs so a misdirected livery that by Boyd Rankin a poor start from him he wouldn't be the first and there's one that's gone over well not the pavilion but certainly the side screen that's Shane Watson opening his shoulders and that is a huge blow edged and out so his preparation doesn't work that was a terrific delivery by Rankin just a little bit of extra bounce and movement a perfect line and length and that's a big blow pulled by Payne that's going to be six so uh, that's not the place to bowl really on this pitch it's just a bit too slow and that time Payne got into a much better position catch catch well it was in the air but the way that Ponting cuts and pulls, it's a beautiful shot. Community, our sponsors, RSA, are looking after, uh, all coming up to Croke Park. They've been absolutely fantastic. Right to extend that to them today, they've been terrific. Warren, thanks for your time. Thank you. Beautiful timing by the Australian captain. Full delivery. Dying, 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 Diggler, dying! While Boyd Rankin can't get down, Another beautiful shot to finish the 13th over. Australia now 56 a 1. You can see just a moment ago today getting better. Oh, yes, he's lofted it. Hasn't got all of it, but it's going to run away. And Ponte goes over the top, and that's a very cleverly executed shot. Just one bounce into the ropes, lifting the ball deliberately over mid off. Alan Lewis is here to adjudicate on that one. I think the you know, the way the game is administered. That's a chance, fashion. that's a chance, and it's taken. Ponting has gone. He was just trying to accelerate a little bit, and Sterling has picked up the wicket. 21 runs in the last seven overs or so, and that's a stumping, is it? Yes, given. Brilliant work by Gary Wilson behind the stumps to get Alec Kusak a wicket. Little flick. It's effective. What a shot. Short delivery. Cameron White easily puts this away. Colts playing the game. Nicely guided down the third man by Tim Payne. And, and you know, they want successful teams, don't they? Well, the interesting thing 50, is well, when, you, before when you, you consider... Before you answer that, just to, just to, we should just uh, mention that's 50 to Tim Payne. His fourth one-day international 50. There goes White's power. Now that's just an indication of how dangerous he can be. And there he goes. And in fact, he hasn't probably cleared the ropes with that, but he's angled it very well into the gaps wide of mid-off. So that was a deliberate placed shot rather than... Oh, a simple catch to William Porterfield and Cameron White departs. Sterling, doing a Sterling job for Ireland. That's going to be four. That's a, a good delivery, a poor delivery rather, by... This time uh, Kevin O'Brien had come back on. Uh. Well, a short delivery. Boyd Rankin comes back into the attack. Well, it's in the air, but it's going to go all the way. Picks up the length very early, early pain. Let's see. And there's a wicket. Clever bowling as well by Kevin O'Brien. He's bowled three or four slower balls already this, this over. Short delivery by Boyd Rankin. Easily put away by James Oaks. Well, that's in the air. He's skied it a long way up. And he's taken it. Niall O'Brien again. Taking his second catch off his brother. Well, it's a good shot. It might go all the way, and it has. Doesn't quite time it as well as he'd like to score. Well, what a shot that is. Short delivery by Cusack. Was obviously not a free hit, but it's... Next ball's been put away for four. 
Nathan Horitz picks up on the length this time. Shorter delivery again. Once again, a slower ball by Kevin O'Brien. Well, it's in the air and it's going to be caught. And guess who by it again? His brother, Niall O'Brien. Well, he didn't get anything. All he got was his leg stump removed. Good bowling by Boyd Rankin. Big tall man, straight in the, the footholes. Well, he gives himself room. This time it's in the air. Is it going to go all the way? No, good catch. Good catch, John Mooney, to finish the innings off. You can hear what it means to the crowd. What a good way of finishing off. An excellent performance. Calm, fast bowler. Good delivery to start with from Bollinger, but down the leg side, probably, as Porterfield looked to work that one to leg. Resnan. Again, know the pace of the bowling can sometimes be to the batsman's advantage. That's a good shot from William Porterfield. Oh, that's good. That's loose bowling from Harris and brilliantly capitalised on by Porterfield, playing for Gloucestershire, of course, this summer and last. And Oh, it doesn't make any difference though if he pitches it up. What a great shot that is. Excited crowd enjoying shots like that from Paul Sterling. Bollinger just outside off stump. Wouldn't say that was a bad ball, but 20 20 and he's, uh, he's got some talent and that is going to be four more. Probably not quite as fine as he intended. Cameron White would have been interested at second slip momentarily. That's two shorts and that's been deposited nonchalantly over mid on by Paul Sterling could be out no just wide and short fine leg it's going all Ireland's way at the moment uh, if it had uh, been Australia's day that would have landed straight in the hands of short fine leg but uh... what a shot what a shot leading from the front the captain they're really attacking Australia here well, that'll be four as well, because fine leg had gone really square. Bowler's bowling well. Well, there we are. Clouted forcefully. Beautiful shot. Beautiful shot, Paul Sterling. Well, this is going to go all the way. What a shot. Are we watching a 50-over game here, or are we watching a 20-20? After one over, at the other end, that's a boundary. Really good stroke, because that was uh, a full ball, but he supplied power. Well, there we go. Oh, catch! Oh. Well, it's in the air, it goes past Michael Clark at first slip, and we'll go all the way. A good over turns into a bad over. To be out. Full delivery that hits him in front of middle and off stump. Easy decision for Nigel Long. Yeah! Straight through him. Just opened him up. Pitching leg and just straightening. So. Well, a leg side delivery, which has just clipped the inside edge of Nile O'Brien's bat. Top quality bowler. Yeah. That's runs for Kusak, four of them. A scream of no from Harris, who knows he just overpitched and gave the batsman a little bit of width as well. It's going to be a Yorker, and it doesn't come off, and it's four. Profiting the Irish side, and 102 is now the score. So 100 comes up in the 17th over. Too wide from Horitz, and that's a good shot from Kusak, who is belying his status, as Alan Lewis said, as, as possibly not necessarily a reputable number five. Catch! Flightened in the offside, and that's four on the offside this time. So Horitz overcompensating for his wides. Edged and four. Uh, <laughs> no justice there for the bowler. That was a good delivery, runs up to bowler, or trying to put the batsman off. I don't know, but it's not working because that's another boundary and that was too short and wide and ah! nipping back out nine yeah! oh is that a little edge it's a villainous little edge from the bat of Niall O'Brien as he came across his stumps yeah! gone yeah! Yeah, 
Tim Payne takes the catch, low to his right, two-handed. Yeah! Edge, gone. James Hope strikes again. Another wicket, a soft dismissal, a wide delivery. Well, that's to be out, and he's on a hat-trick. Beautiful delivery by James Hopes. Great shot. Just what the crowd needed. Well, he's decided it's time. We're in the power play. Let's have a bit of fun. Let's entertain this crowd. Well, it's another four runs. Short delivery. Shane Watson cannot believe that Doug Bollinger has not stopped that. Ponting, who likes to hit the stumps. Well, it's a direct hit. It's been given not out. And will it go for five? It will. What a shot. Full delivery. Ryan Harris trying to bowl York is here. Well, it's in the air. Who's underneath it? Ponting the captain. Will he catch it? Of course he will. Fantastic catch to finish off what has been, in the end, a fine performance by Ireland. Yes, Australia have won by 39 runs.